We don't like to imagine the movie making process as being a fun and flawless one, but that's rarely the case. It's generally grueling, exhausting, and full of obstacles, the most extreme of which is when the lead actor is dismissed from their job. Whether it's because they misbehaved in some way, because they simply weren't ultimately deemed suitable for the roles or otherwise, a number of leading men and women have been asked to leave movies after production has commenced. And that's what this video is all about. Here are 10 movies that fired their lead actors during filming. Valley of the Dolls While Judy Garland wasn't necessarily the lead role in 1967's Valley of the Dolls, she was undoubtedly the biggest star in the movie's cast. She was the original actress playing fictional Broadway star Helen Lawson in the movie, but she was fired soon after production began. Garland apparently turned up to work blind drunk and was replaced by Susan Hayward as the result. Garland was on a downward spiral at that point in her life and she died just two years later from an overdose of barbiturates. She was just 47. Mansion of Blood. Mansion of Blood was a low budget horror film that started filming back in 2011, but didn't actually get released until 2015. It starred Gary Busey, who is notoriously unpredictable. Unfortunately, the impossible to work with incarnation of the actor turned up for this movie. He was fired for directing inappropriate comments towards the female members of the cast. However, he filmed enough to be included in the final movie. And in fact, the marketing of the film still focuses very much on him. Apocalypse Now, Francis Ford Coppola had originally cast brilliant method actor Harvey Keitel as the lead character, Captain Benjamin L. Willard, in 1979's iconic Apocalypse Now after seeing him in Martin Scorsese's Mean Streets, but it just didn't work out for him. Less than a week after the movie had started shooting, Keitel was dismissed from the role of Willard, with Coppola stating that the actor had found it difficult for him to play a passive onlooker. Martin Sheen famously replaced him, and the rest, as we say, is history. The Lords of Flatbush. The 1974's The Lords of Flatbush originally featured a street gang that included the likes of Richard Gear, Sylvester Stallone and Henry Winkler, but due to two of these guys not getting along, one of them was dismissed during filming. It was Richard Gere, who was originally cast as Chico, who was fired because he and Sylvester Stallone reportedly fought like cats and dogs. The pair actually came to blows, with Stallone elbowing Gere in the head at one point, and Stallone demanded that he be fired. Gere's role eventually went to Perry King. Stallone and Gere's feud supposedly resulted in Stallone starting that hilarious rumor about Gere and the gerbil. Yeah, you know the one. Predator. Although the leading man of 1987's Predator was Arnold Schwarzenegger, it's hard to argue that the star of the movie was the titular creature itself. Kevin Peter Hall played the alien with Peter Cullen voicing it, but the original actor cast in the role was far more famous. It was none other than Jean-Claude Van Damme, but he really struggled in the claustrophobic rubber suit, even passing out due to how hot it was inside on a couple of occasions. Some people say he simply quit the movie, but others say he was harshly fired by producer Joel Silver, who apparently dismissed him after he passed out for a third time. Transformers Dark of the Moon Megan Fox was initially an integral part of the Transformers movie franchise, appearing in both of the first two movies, but she lost her part in the third by comparing director Michael Bay to Hitler in an interview. When executive producer Steven Spielberg heard about it, he immediately called for her to be fired from the film. Spielberg is famously sympathetic to those who suffered through the Holocaust and didn't find Fox's comments even slightly funny. So although she was signed to appear in Dark of the Moon, she was fired before her part actually started filming. The Other Side. Comedy drama movie The Other Side was supposed to be Lindsay Lohan's big comeback after her starring roles in the 2007 commercial failure I Know Who Killed Me and the 2009 film Labor Pains, which didn't even get a theatrical release. Lohan was signed up and even got as far as being insured, just in case she proved herself to be unprofessional. But just as filming was getting underway, she was fired. Director David Michaels decided that she wasn't bankable and Olivia Thirlby replaced her in the lead role of Max McKenzie. However, in spite of it filming in 2011, it is still yet to be released. The Lovely Bones 2009's The Lovely Bones was a rare misfire from the Lord of the Rings director Peter Jackson, and that might have something to do with the fact that the first choice actor for the lead was fired during production. That man was Ryan Gosling, and it was originally suggested that he was dismissed for being too young to play a man with a teenage daughter. But Gosling has since told the truth about the incident, and apparently, he was fired for being overweight. He was replaced by TED star Mark Wahlberg. Her. In the 2013 sci-fi love story, Her, a sentient operating system, falls in love with a recently divorced man. The English actress Samantha Morton was originally cast as the voice of the operating system, and she did, in fact, finish the movie. But she was dismissed from the role during post-production. Director Spike Jones just didn't think that she was right for the role and replaced her with Scarlett Johansson. Joaquin Phoenix, who played the aforementioned recently divorced man, worked with Johansson during post-production to help her nail the part perfectly. 
Back to the Future. It's hard to imagine anyone other than Michael J. Fox playing Marty McFly in the legendary Back to the Future movies. But it was, in fact, a completely different actor who began production playing the character. Mask star Eric Stoltz had actually spent five weeks in the movie before being given his marching orders. Director Robert Zemeckis felt that Stoltz was playing Marty too seriously. His release cost $3 million. But bringing Fox in undoubtedly made the movie far funnier and far more successful than it would have otherwise have been. It should be noted, however, that Stoltz did make it into the final movie. It's his fist that punches Biff in the diner in 1955. Thanks for watching our video of top 10 movies that fired their lead actors during filming. Do you think that these actors deserve to be fired? Which other leading men and women were dismissed from their roles during production? Leave us a comment and let us know. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and check out the rest of our channel. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to CBR for cool vids about movies, action heroes, gaming, comics, and way, way more.